Hello, little one. Why are you here in the shrine so late at night? Unclean. You reek of the outside world. Your back is full of offerings. Hmm. Little one, what were you planning to do with those? I hope you weren't going to leave with them. That would be stealing. I know that this is all just a misunderstanding. No one would be foolish enough to come into my home and steal from me, right? Exactly. Exactly. Now, why don't you put those down? Thank you. Would you mind explaining why you're here? Oh, no need to be shy. You've come all the way here. So late at night. It must have been inconvenient for you. So why? Why did you come here? Oh. You must be scared. I'm only here to help you little, little people. You come to me, bring offerings, make sacrifices, and in return, you gain my favor. Oh. I know that the harvest season is coming up. So many people have been coming here, giving up their belongings in exchange for a better harvest so that they might have enough food to last them for the winter. And they really do need my help. Things have been tough. Famine. Drought. Disease. So, so much has gone wrong over the past few years. And, oh, I do feel for you little people, but... Oh, the temple, the shrine, it's never, never done better. And here you are, taking this from me when, oh, you really should be giving. Mm -hmm. How do you expect to make it through this winter without giving something to me? That's really why you came here, isn't it, little one? <sighs> to be honest, I have half the mind to turn you into a bag of grain and hand you out to all those little peasants that are so hungry. I could do that. It would be so easy. Or... I could turn you over to the priests. I'm sure they would do something worse. I know they tend to be pretty protective of this place, and oh, they would not be happy if they found out that someone broke in to my shrine and tried to make off 
with our offerings. Oh, I know that they would not be kind. Not like me. I help people all the time. And I'd be willing to help you out. Mm -hmm. I think that Oh, if you just made an offering to me, we could just forget all of this. We could move on. I might even ensure that you have enough food to make it to the new year. Oh, I know you'd like that. I can tell by your stench. Hmm, you probably weren't much on the outside, right? Oh, I'm sure you were struggling just as much as the rest of them. That's probably why you're here. <laughs> you needed something. A little bit extra. Maybe you didn't have anything to give, but you still have to eat, right? No, I don't blame you. If I was in your shoes, I'd probably try something similar. <sighs> but that brings up the question. What do you have to give me, little one? Do you have anything to your name? <laughs> oh, no need to look embarrassed. I'm sure I could find something to take from you. Everyone has something to give. Uh, some people more than others, but... Oh, I'm sure we could find something. And do you really have nothing? Really? Just the clothes that you're wearing? Yourself? Do you have any friends or family? A home? Any savings, any tools, any anything, any skills? No. <laughs> oh, you really are a lost cause. Hmm. <sighs> Little one, I am intrigued by the way you smell. Usually, when people come here, they're cleaned first. The priests take great care of that. The outside world is cleaned off of visitors before they come here. But you, they are practically caked in the outside. I don't think I've ever had a guest as filthy as you. Perhaps if I took a closer look at you, if I smelled you, maybe I could find something that I could take. Does my form bother you? I've been told that my fur is soft. Not that many have gotten this close to me. Let me just investigate you for a moment. very interesting scent. Not sure how to describe it. It's not entirely unpleasant, but I believe some of that has to do with who you are 
your humanity, your soul, the very essence of yourself. If you don't have anything else to give, I could take some of that. Is that something that you would agree to? I will forgive you for your attempted theft if you let me take some of your humanity. It's interesting. What do you say, little one? Do you agree? <laughs> That's a good question. What would that entail? Well, I would take some of what makes you, you. You would lose some of your identity and you would change. Presumably, you would change to be a bit more like me. Because if I take something from you, it would have to be replaced, and <laughs> the only thing I could replace that with is some of myself. Ears, tails, claws, whiskers, snow, fur, things like that. The process is mildly uncomfortable, but I can comfort you while it happens. One more thing. If I do this, if I take your humanity, I would want you to stay here. It's not like you would have a place on the outside anymore. Anyways, you would be safe here. The priests would take care of you. They would see you the same way they see me. They would be treated with the utmost respect. You would be cared for. You wouldn't want for anything. You wouldn't have to worry about where your next meal is coming from. Or how you're going to keep a roof over your head. Or whether or not you're going to have to steal to make ends meet. You will be my pet. How does that sound? Would you give up your humanity to me and become my pet? It's better than the alternative. The choice is yours, though. Do you accept? <laughs> oh, little one. There's no need for you to answer with so much enthusiasm. I can give you more time to think about it if you want. You would like that. Well, I can certainly accommodate you, little one. Here. Come close to me. That's it. I noticed that you were eyeing my tails earlier. Personally, I don't think they're anything special, but... Oh, many of you seem to have a certain fascination with that. You'll have some like me soon. Do you find that interesting? 
It certainly seems to have captured your attention. Oh, you little people are so fascinating <laughs> with your trivial little lives and all of your problems and your interests. I almost wish I could keep you here as a pet without changing you. That would be very inappropriate. The priest would not allow me to do that. I suppose they're supposed to work for me. They do a lot to help me and they've built the shrine that I stay in as my home. But they also have a lot of control over me. I stay here because it's not safe for me on the outside. <sighs> they keep this place repaired. They ensure that I have a steady stream of offerings and I take care of my needs. Without them, I would be nothing. And, unfortunately, they know that. Over the years, I have, in a way, become a prisoner of this place. I've become stuck. Unable to leave, and I've been here so long, I've forgotten what it's like out there. You coming here has been a good reminder of that. Thank you. Now, to start. I'm going to place my mark on you. I'm going to take my claws and run them across your cheeks. So please, don't move. I can hold the back of your head for you. There. Okay. This will hurt a little bit. But I promise it'll all be okay, my pet. Here. There. Perfect. Let me get the other side. There we are. The marks look good on you. Now, you should come rest with me. It is very late and we both should be sleeping. I'm going to watch over you while you change. I'm going to place you in my lap and hold you. Caress your head. Run my hands down your back. Soothe you. If you want, you can fall asleep. When you wake up, you'll have a set of ears, a tail, and claws, just like me. 
I want you to have pleasant dreams tonight. And know that things are going to be better for you from now on. And you're forgiven for trying to steal from me. <laughs> oh, I hope you rest well, little one. Thank you so much for watching my video. I want to give a special shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. Your support has really, really helped me out. Thank you guys so much. I really can't express my gratitude. So, from me to all of you, Mm -hmm. Thank you so, so much.